SNES Drunk. Welcome back to SNES Drunk Plays Secret of Mana, and I am fighting these guys for some reason. I really don't know why I'm doing this. I think you do get mad points for uh, getting for uh, killing them and leveling up and stuff, but in the meantime, poor Clyde is going to bite the dust here, it looks like. God, and then they... I think I'm... Did I get one of them? I can't even tell. I need candy. Wow, down to one? I didn't even see that. Ugh. Ugh. Who's gonna die first? Oh, it's, see, there you go. Clyde gets the, the level up, and I walked right into the fucking Moogle one more time. Jesus. Oh, and Penny's dead again. I wonder if I can just go past these. Nah, I don't want to violate the spirit of the game. Even if it means getting moogled again and again and again. Um, that is one aspect of this game that you need to keep in mind. If this is one of those games where you can pick your spots to level up and you can kill certain stuff forever and ever. Uh, and um, just run past everything else. Like there's, there's no reason to keep... Uh, God, more of these things? <laughs> There's, like, you can just go, you can skip this entire section and go straight to the boss if you want. But, in the spirit of the game, I'm going to keep, uh, keep fighting these guys. I don't know why, I, don't, I think it's just the overall presentation and just the fact that this game is... I get a lot of childhood vibes from this game. This is one of the defining games of my youth, for sure. Um... <coughs> It's, uh, what was that, three times in the last two minutes? Jesus. Uh, at least it, uh, it's just these guys. I got the stupid eyeball thing, at least. But, um, yeah, I feel kind of guilty when I run away from enemies in this game for some reason. Maybe it's just me being a sap, but, uh, I don't know. Now we've got, uh, oh, Jesus, I went in the wrong room again. Always go on the left. I think I'm going to take these guys out, though. Just, as long as you take them on one at a time, you should be fine. But if you activate all three of them, and they're all hopping around like jackasses, you've got no chance. No ghost of a chance. <coughs> ghost there, just hanging out with me. I like these rooms that are just... Like when they're designing about this haunted castle, it'll be like, okay, we need kind of a, a dresser, dr uh, a, a chest dresser. Then we just put a single clock on top of it. The interior designer's like, we can just pick those up at antique shops. You know, we can. I hear, uh, I hear Albuquerque's very good for antiques, so let's, uh, let's check those out. God damn it, stop being a coward. I'm just gonna go past these guys. Poor Clyde's almost, uh, zonked out here. Oh, we've got one of these. Another maze. I thought the, the boss was coming right up. I guess not. There should be a... Oh, there's a switch. What was I... What have I been rambling about? I remember in the Mega Man uh, Let's Play, I've been... I was rambling about uh, a TV series for... Uh, a 60s TV series for Mega Man. Um, and talking about my experiences on drugs. Let's move that up to level 1 so he does charge attacks more often. Um, oh, there we go. Now we can go this way. Um, oh, I see Clyde leveled up again. That's good. Should stop calling him Clyde and calling him the Sprite. <laughs> Nobody's gonna know what I'm talking about when I say Clyde. Aw, oh, shit. Here we go. Music's picking it up a notch. Love that. I love this. What do you get from these chairs, anyway? You get poison needles! Son of a bitch. Ugh. Ah, we've made it to what's-her-name. Excellent. Hey, we, we, we need your help. Uh, oh, you're evil. I forgot. Oh, no, he just blinked into obs obscurity, just like... Uh, bad guys do in beat em up games. Thanatos, eh? Who's that? Oh, well, thank you for explaining that, Bond villain. 
Yes, how could you explain all that shit? All right, so he's dispatched in Pandora. That means that's where we need to go next. Because we need to find out who this Thanatos guy is. And uh, But first, we need to take out what might be the hardest boss in the game up to this point, or in the entire game, regardless of early, late, whenever. This tiger thing is super tough because it has a, a ton of... Uh, what do I want to do? Let's revive Penny since I have the extra thing. Uh, these... These are not going to last long. The, the, your, <coughs> your people are not going to last long, as you can see Clyde already... But yeah, it's impossible to avoid getting hit by this this guy. And you want to switch to your... Yeah, you can't reach him. So you can... Uh, yeah, you, down to 33. You, well, any one attack from this guy can do 33 damage. And I'm stuck like a sap in a fire. Oh, I cannot reach him. Oh, and now she's dead. See, that was a total waste. And yeah, no matter how far away you are from the stupid tiger, it will die. Let's try and... And it's useless to try and charge an attack because he's going to hit you. He's going to do that little rolling ball thing. And it's just a ginormous pain in the ass. I think he has like 400 hit points or something like that. 450 maybe, maybe 500. So you need a lot, a lot of candy, a lot of chocolate you heal up and you need to make sure your your uh, sword hits count. Let's uh, yeah, let's stick with candy till we run out of it. I've got four chocolates. That should be enough, I think, as I get uh, engulfed in flame once again. I remember this is pretty much as far as my brother got, <laughs> and this is why he insisted on playing this game uh, multiplayer because he thought it was impossible to beat this this boss. I think him and his friend did eventually get past it once, but they kind of... Do you get ma... Yeah, you get magic right after this. Spoiler alert. But you go to the... You get the water magic um, not too long after this. And, uh, yeah, I pr I'm pretty sure that's as far as he got. Um, I think I still... I'm not even close to killing this guy yet. I still got about... Nine or ten more hits to go. God, it's so frustrating. I can't reach him over there. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm down to just 20, doing 28 damage? Come on. See see how far away I was from him when he came down and it still hit me. The hitbox there is laughable. All right, let's start eating some chocolate. Excuse me, Tiger, would you stay still for a minute while I eat a bar of chocolate? I'm gonna, oh, I'm just so comfortable. I'm just gonna lie down right here as this malicious giant tiger with spikes is going to destroy me. I'm just so comfortable. Um, I think I'm gonna try and... What the hell am I doing? <laughs> That's not where I want to go. Uh, let's put on the uh, boomerang and just use this. To, you know, I can't even reach him with the stupid boomerang. Come on. Ah. <sighs> uh. God, am I gonna get past this guy? Jesus. Uh, now let's switch back to the sword. Son of a bitch. There we go. Okay. Switch back to the bow and arrow, ch or Chobin's bow, I guess it. Whoops. Wrong button. There we go. 31 damage I wouldn't have normally got. Oh, I'm just. You now it's time for another nap. I just can't help myself. I'm just. If I feel relaxed, I just need to. All right, we need chocolate again. I've got three left. Should be enough. <laughs> it's just certain aspects of this game. It's just there's too much out of your control. Like once you you're in the wrong spot at the wrong time, there's nothing you can do. You're just stuck there. All right, a few more hits should take care of him. I think maybe he's got maybe a hundred hit points left. Oh, wow, he didn't hit me. I actually avoided him. Amazing. All right. Get a couple hits on him over here. Whoops. There we go. All right. We have defeated the spiky tiger. The next boss after... Or not the next boss. The boss in the underground palace is pretty tough, too. It's that big gnome guy. That's, that's no fun. The tiger, though, is a huge pain in the ass for sure, though. Way to go. 
And I got an orb for a weapon I will never use. Back to the sword, and anything else over here? Where do I go? Ah, transporting tiles. Where'd the witch lady go? She turned into a normal, homely old lady yet? Can I do anything with this wood? <laughs> no. Oh, there she is. Everybody line up and commence conversation. There we go. Now she's back to normal. Oh yeah, trading for his herbs, eh? How much for an eighth? Uh-huh. Free treasure. What do we got here? Orbs, I hope? Uh, 50 bucks. And we've got... Uh, oh, the whip. That's right. That's cool. The whip is very useful. And obviously, the whip is what you use to get out of there. She can send you outside, but I don't want to do that. We'll do that next time. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.